Oh, friend, you have no idea how many years I have craved this Lake Pal adventure. I'm so excited. We are starting at Antelope Point Launch Ramp, and we are going to brave paddleboarding a mile with some tricky big waves in this amazing Lake Pal. But after a mile, we will enter the wakeless zone of the gorgeous Antelope Canyon. We have two miles to paddle up this beautiful canyon. Well, this almost looks like the teeth piece in a way. Close. Oh, that's a really neat overhang. Look at those cool lines. On the summer of 2022, the Southwest was dealing with a scary drought that had been going on for a few years, and Lake Powell was a lake most often talked about with the drought. People were constantly talking about how low Lake Powell was and how shocked they were they could walk out to Lone Rock. People from California and Arizona were scared because much of their water and electricity comes from Lake Powell, and the lake was looking like it wouldn't be able to provide those essential things to those states. On July 6, 2022, a cross-denominational day of fasting and prayer was asked for, and as a people, we begged. Fighting, then the winter of 2022, our prayers were answered, and record rainfall and snow came. Help was coming from above. So on July 6, 2023, a year later, a call for another cross-denominational day of fasting and prayer was asked for. You ask why? This time, it was asking to please give thanks and acknowledge that our prayers were answered from above. We've got some beautiful duotones here. Nice cream and then a nice beautiful chocolate. It's just twists and turns. Honestly, I've lost sense of which way is north, south, and east, and west now. Oh, that's so clear. Wait, what's coming around this corner? I really like these white flowers. They're all along the whole cliffside. It feels totally different all of a sudden because we just got a lot narrower. Now that we have paddled up Antelope Canyon, some of the real adventure begins for we are going to hike two miles up Antelope Canyon. Heading in that slot. This is going to be good. I love it when canyons do the wave thing. Oh, we got a ladder. I'm so happy they put a ladder in here. That's a flimsy ladder. Oh, hello, my dog. <laughs> huh, how are we going to do this? Thinking, strategizing. Yeah. Thank you. I'm sure we got a squat area right here. We have to duck. Huh, over or under? This wouldn't be so bad if my knees weren't exposed. <laughs> Interesting rock right in the middle of the slot. Well, that's some crazy cool shapes. All right, this is what we've got in our path. How do we overcome it? Oh, we can go that way. There's a little towel right there. Ooh, fine rubs. 
I love Soka Course. I don't mind the regular nature ones. I just don't like obstacle courses from. Is that really where I need to go? I gotta be in the way. Oh, let's go this. I don't want to go that way. Can I get up here? Wow, this is beautiful. Do you see how pretty this swirl is right here? Follow it along. Look at this cool swirl. Draw that work. We hit a huge dead end. Uh, I can't see any way around that one. Wow, an epic spot. So as I end this fun, epic adventure, I will share the lesson I learned from nature as I paddled this beautiful place. I was not only filled with amazing awe from the beauties of nature, but I was also filled with such a gratitude that prayers were answered, and my beloved Lake Pal has been filled with wonderful water again after being so low for so long. Sending love and positive vibes your way. Hope to see you again real soon. Please hit subscribe and like. Bye now.